guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Kayla here thank you all so much for tuning in for today's video I'm bringing you guys my first kitchen reno demo vlog y'all and also guys make sure you stay to the end for a giveaway if you're new here I do a lot of DIY home content clean with me's decorate with me's all that type of stuff so if you like that please consider subscribing and let's go ahead and get right into the video and so, yeah, I'm super duper excited. We rented this big truck for today. Okay guys, so we made it back home and now we're taking all of the cabinets, which it was only just two of them, and they're 30 inches. And these are gonna go on the wall where the hutch was and a drawer, an 18 inch drawer is gonna go in between them. And so, <laughs> oh, are you okay? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> And then we're going to um, take these inside. So here we go. And then after this, we're going to go to um, the storage oh. unit. All right, hey guys. So I am in floor and decor and I'm about to pick out, well, I'm about to buy purchase my flooring this is the one that i chose for my kitchen it's a dollar and 29 cents per square foot and it's called revival gray so here is one of the um tiles in my cart and i'm just gonna go ahead and get all the boxes that i need because we're gonna get started on the floor first after we do the demo so this is what it looks like and y'all my head like <laughs> i've had so many ideas which is why I didn't want to like do anything right away and rip my whole kitchen out because my mind keeps changing. Originally, you guys know if you watch my dream kitchen video that I did during Vlogmas that I wanted to do like a just a regular white subway towel or I was looking at hexagons. But lately y'all, I've really been feeling like a more gray backsplash. This is for backsplash. So I was thinking about this one and then I also like the white and these have like some really cool ridges on it so it's not perfect at all and I think that adds like some more texture and then this was a darker one that we found but it was more so um just straight up and down but now I really don't like that one at all and I really think I might go with this one for gray for the backsplash and the cabinets are going to be white and then I'll have like black accents I think that's the vibe I want to go for. You guys, the lights just went out in the home, the floor and decor place we're in. I, I, I don't know what's going on, but Marcus is putting all of the boxes here that we need, and we need eight of them to do the entire floor. There's 16 square feet per box, so that's why we need eight. That'll pretty much cover everything for the entire kitchen. All right guys, so like I told you all, are we now at Floor and Decor and I just got all the countertops. I wish I could show y'all how pretty they are, but they are butcher block. Oh, here's a little piece that got ripped off. Oh, maybe y'all can see a little bit, probably not. But once we start doing the demo and everything, you guys definitely will um, see more of like what it looks like. So each one of these are eight foot pieces and they were all 189 a piece. Um, and if you are looking to buy something like this, the name is called Havea, H-E-V-E-A. And these are all unfinished butcher block countertops. This is what I'm trying to show y'all. It's upside down. So, yeah, super duper excited. Marcus went in to buy some, um, straps. So that way we can just travel more safely. And yeah, I'm really, really excited, you guys. <laughs> Coming together. Now all I need are to get my appliances. Hey guys, so as you all know, the kitchen remodel is on its way and everything right now is currently just sitting in my sunroom because it's kind of chilly here in Georgia. So this is just going to be the controlled environment where I do everything. 
And so today I got my appliances. They were delivered. This is a stove, I believe, and I also got a dishwasher. I took y'all's advice from my dream kitchen video that I did during Vlogmas, and I asked y'all, should I get stainless steel appliances or should I get white appliances to match my white refrigerator in the kitchen? And y'all always like, girl, get the stainless. So that's what I ended up doing. And I think it's actually gonna look really good. Not gonna open this now though, but I just wanted to let y'all know I got it and I'm so happy. That's all they showed you? Oh, here's the front, here's the front. Okay. Turn up. <laughs> yes. It looks beautiful. No, I can't see the knobs. Oh! <laughs> wow, it's so pretty. It's so pretty, y'all. OMG, I love it. Oh! <sighs> My babies, I can't wait for y'all to get installed. So pretty, yeah. I'm. This was the best decision. This is the stainless steel, y'all. Turn up. Okay. So y'all, I'm super duper excited, as you guys can see. But I'm also realizing that I probably could have got these delivered a little bit later. I didn't. I didn't know you could schedule the delivery like that. Um, but I did buy these for a really good price, so that's why I ordered them so soon. I also didn't think they would come this fast. After I ordered them, they came within maybe four days, four or five business days. So I definitely thought I would be waiting like a month, I mean, at least a month to receive it. But it's good though. I'm, you know, getting all my stuff together. Everything's here. So that way when I'm ready for it, we can just get it, get to it. Also, I want to show you guys this horse that my dad, not like a real horse, but that's what they're called, I guess. These things right here so that way I'm gonna be using this to paint so that's exciting and yeah y'all it's coming along so Marcus and I right now we are about to run to Walmart so I can get some clear containers to put a lot of my dishes and a lot of my food in in the um, kitchen so let's get going Hey guys, so it's a new day and a lot is happening today. I'm so excited. So my electrician is coming at around four to take out the appliances, like the stove and the um, wall oven and the dishwasher, make sure everything's disconnected and good. And then around seven, some guys are coming to take out the cabinets. And so before everybody comes, it's like two o'clock now. No, it's 1.30 now. I have to take literally everything out of these cabinets. It's crunch time. Today's the day. I'm so excited. And so yeah, let's go ahead and start taking literally everything out of the cabinets. So like I said, at this moment, it was crunch time, y'all. I was like scrambling to get literally everything out of these cabinets and also getting everything clean as well because the electrician was coming today the contractor was coming today like the whole demo day situation is going down on this very day right here luckily though i did have help my mom and dad came over a little bit later and helped me get everything situated and sorted out because i did want to make like a mini kitchen in my den since I didn't have a real one anymore that way I could just you know cook a couple of meals at home and not eat out so much I really wanted to avoid eating out as much as possible but unfortunately y'all um, I have been eating out anyway it's just so convenient 
So I cannot wait to get my kitchen back. That way I can start cooking more again. But yeah, this is just the temporary situation. Temporary. You guys see that table right there? That's where I'm setting up like my little kitchen within the office space. So I have my microwave over there, my blender so I can make smoothies, just a couple little things. And also we are kind of like moving the cabinet, I'm sorry, the countertops and the towel out of the way to make a walkway. So I'm using the remaining tubs that I have to put my food in. One bin was for like my food that was already open, the things I'm eating currently, and then the other bin was the stuff that I had in the pantry, but I haven't quite, you know, opened the packages yet. So once those are all settled, we slid them right into my faux kitchen. Like snow in the spring. I just want your time. All right, guys, so we, for the most part, have gotten everything out of the cabinets and even took out the sink, as you all saw. And this just looks so cool to me. I don't know why, but it's just making me even more excited for what's to come. I'm never, you know, it's just so cool to me. So yeah, anyway, um, pretty soon my electrician should be here to take out the stove and the oven. So now that all of the appliances were out, it was time to gut the kitchen completely. So that means that these cabinets had to go. So here's the quick story <laughs> of how these cabinets came to leave. So Marcus's dad had the great idea for me to put them on Facebook Marketplace. Originally, Marcus and I were just gonna take these down ourselves, but after watching YouTube videos on how to take down cabinets, we didn't see the things that people were talking about in those videos within these cabinets. Like these are old school. They were literally nailed into the wall. They weren't budging. So anyway, Marcus's dad had the idea to put the cabinets up on Facebook Marketplace for free, but the catch is whoever wanted them would have to remove them. I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not, but I love Facebook Marketplace, so I was like, you know what, that's a great idea. Let me just try it out and see if it doesn't. Then Marcus and I will just come in here and try to do the best we can. 
so anyway the next day i got so many hits you guys from so many people wanting these cabinets and i was like okay this is actually working and so the one guy I ended up going with um he had a team a professional team that he said could come in get the job done in less than two hours and they wouldn't do any damage to the um wall so i ended up going with him just because it seemed like the best option and it turned out being a great decision because these guys were very professional they knew exactly what they were doing they came in and they got right to work and i didn't have to lift a finger so that is awesome and i know that these cabinets were a beast because even the contractors who are here right now told us so they were like man whoever put these up like these are like really good cabinets they made sure they weren't going any place like so for some areas they did have a little difficulty like this pantry part right here but yeah it was so cool too just watching the process and like the way they worked because i just think if marcus and i would have done this it would have taken days days and days and days so i'm so thankful that Marx's dad gave me a great idea and that, um, you know, the person that I went with was very flexible and had a great team who could come in and take them out. So everything just ended up working out beautifully. all right guys all of the cabinets are gone the kitchen is gutted well except for the floors but that's coming soon before we even like take the floors up and put down new flooring our next step is going to be to get the whole entire kitchen painted and primed and all that good stuff so that's our next step but yeah y'all it's crazy like what Oh my goodness. So pretty much everywhere you guys see the white that I had painted to make it look a little bit more updated for a second, that's um, where the backsplash is gonna be. It's gonna come along this way, right here too, to the door. So all of that now is gonna be backsplash. It's also going to go up towards the fit hood area, and that's gonna be cute. And then it's also gonna go all the way up to the ceiling here and and then it'll come around here and stop so yeah guys that is pretty much everything and what do y'all think about the kitchen to me it just looks so much bigger i mean obviously nothing's in it but it looks huge in here it's a completely different layout or it will be a completely different layout and i just have so much room to play with now to make my vision come to life. Give this video a thumbs up if you are liking how everything is looking so far. guys so it is the next day and I just wanted to show y'all what the kitchen looks like in the daytime with it all being completely gutted it looks so much brighter in here this morning when I stepped in I was like wow the potential is there it's so real and so what I'm about to do right now is just continue cleaning up um, the areas where the cabinets were because there was a lot of dust under there and like debris so I'm taking the shop back and I am just gonna vacuum and suck all of that stuff up to get it nice and clean so that way we have a clean surface for when we paint but also a clean surface for when we go and like rip up the floors. I 
looking for a brand new start I know I got some trouble getting over you I think that I have played my part I need to get away somewhere far from you I'm a buy, I'm a buy plane ticket Run away by myself for a minute I don't have, I don't have any limits ooh, ooh. I'm looking for a place where I can feel alive Where I can let you go and just be for a while I got you on my mind for the time No, I'm a buy, ooh, ooh. I hope I miss somebody who's better than you That likes me for the things that I say and I do Somebody who can Okay, you guys, so I bought this little pink sprayer because I at this point in my demo DIY life I'm so tired of using a roller so I wanted to try one of these babies out for the very first time I got this off Amazon I'll have it linked down below hopefully it works well I gotta read up the instructions y'all to see what I even need to do because I have no clue On here, it says to refer to the paint to see if it needs to be thinned out for spraying. This told, the paint can itself told me to refer to the book or your paint sprayer to see if the paint might need thinning. So I'm really not sure. I did buy a paint thinner just in case, but the guy at Home Depot said that I probably would not need one. So I guess I'm just going to try it without it. I hope that's not a bad idea. <laughs> So this time, there is, as you can see that little white dot, there is some paint. I don't know why it's not coming out though. Y'all, this thing was so frustrating. And to this day, I still have not figured it out. I don't quite want to give up on the paint sprayer yet because I really want this to spray paint my cabinets just to give it like a really pretty, clean, effortless effect. But the way this stuff was coming out of here, it was splotchy, it was coming out too little. So I definitely think either something's wrong with the machine or something's wrong with my technique. I'm not sure. But for all of you guys who use paint sprayers, Please let me know down in the comments what your girl is doing wrong because I don't know. I even went back later on. I'm not including the footage though because it didn't work. <laughs> but I added a thinner, a paint thinner, and it still didn't work. So I'm lost. Hey guys, so it's a new day today. The paint sprayer, y'all, it just did not work. So in a second, we're just gonna start painting the old fashioned way, unfortunately. But I realized I haven't told you guys my design. I've shown you the flooring, but I haven't shown y'all the backsplash, paint colors and everything like that. So let's get into the design a little bit and then I want y'all's opinion on something too. All right guys, so you all know that this is the flooring that I picked from Floor & Decor. So stinking beautiful. And so here's the backsplash. These are the two backsplash options that I was thinking about. Um, I love them both, honestly. But I decided to go ahead and go with the white long subway towel. Both of them, if I show you guys up close, they have like, ridges in them so they're not perfectly straight which is going to give it that really cool feel this is the gray one and then this is the white one and i ended up going with the white because i felt well this is why i'm going with the white mm. so the upper cabinets i'm going to paint them white in the color polar bear by bear i think this is a really pretty color it's not going to be as bright as the walls but it still is a white color and then for the bottoms, I want to do them gray. And these are the two grays that I am deciding between. They look exactly the same on camera. I don't even know what's going on. The lighting, it doesn't even look right on camera. I may have to flip it around just so y'all can get a true look. 
but I just figured if I did gray on gray on gray, it would just be too much and I wanted a little bit of contrast. So I decided to go with the white subway towel, gray flooring. The base cabinets are going to be one of these gray colors. Oh, now y'all can really see, perfect. And then the uppers are going to be white. So y'all, I need help. I need y'all to vote for which gray y'all like best or which one goes better with the flooring because the flooring will be up against these gray countertops. Right now, this one is called Silver City and then this one is called Dolphin Fin. So y'all let me know down in the comments. I think Silver City looks really pretty, which is this one right here. I think Silver City looks really cute. Mm -hmm. But Dolphin Thin also is bringing a little something to the table. But anyways, this is my color story for the kitchen. And then I plan to do, of course the butcher block will be thrown in. And then I plan to do um, black hardware and stuff. So I'm excited. And I think it's gonna look so pretty to see the bottom cam is gray and then my farmhouse sink is gonna be white. So it's really gonna make that pop instead of doing a white on white. So yeah, I think it I think it's gonna look really cute. So that's the design. Take me up. Right now, we are moving the refrigerator out of the way and um, adding these little plastic sheets just to protect the other areas of my home from getting dusty and things like that. Just trying to be a little bit more proactive because one of the next big projects in here after we paint is to rip up the flooring. So I don't want any dust or particles flying anywhere else where they don't need to be. So, and then after we do this, we're actually gonna begin painting. Maybe this is where our story starts Maybe it was written in the stars Written in the stars You and me forever, yeah You and me Written in the stars You and me forever, yeah Take me to your heart, take me to your soul, never drawn apart, cause I belong, I belong to you, be my guiding star, cause I need your love and baby, and never let me down, let me down, let me down. Okay, y'all, so really quick, I wanna thank the really nice people who sent me things to my P.O. box. If you do wanna send me something, it will be down below in my description box. The first item is coming from Shantae's Chic Boutique. So let's open this baby up. Thank you for supporting my small business. Hi, Kayla. I thank you again for your positive content. I appreciate you responding so positively to my IG message. I hope you enjoy this short set. Please tag me in a cute pic if you have the time. Aw, XOXO, Shantae Chic. Ooh, let's see this set. I'm excited. You guys, this is her socials. Oh, this is cute. Thank you. Oh, this is adorable. So cute. Thank you so much, Shantae. All right, next up, we have something from Karen Boston. What is this? Oh, this is so beautiful. Karen Boston. My sister's name is Karen. Hey, Kayla, I love your channel and spirited personality. Congrats on your home. Please accept these coasters that I hand painted as a housewarming gift. Thanks for sharing a bit of your life with us. I pray many blessings on your life. 
Take care, Karen. P.S. I created these after seeing your kitchen towel options. Girl, you are right on time. I smiled because I knew that although you didn't pick them, you loved them. Here's a small piece to display. Ooh. Oh, oh my goodness. This is so cute, you guys. Wow, I love it. And the colors. Girl, you are on point. It's almost like you are reading my mind. I love this color. I think these are gonna have to go in my living room because they match perfectly. These are beautiful. Thank you so much, Karen. I love them so much. You guys, please support her. These are her socials. So cute. Y'all are so sweet. Okay. And we have one more from Sandy West. Aww. I hope this finds you well and not damaged. I couldn't find a box or padding to fit it into. Love the channel. Keep it up, girl. Sincerely, Sandy. Oh, thank you so much. Ble forever blessed with every breath. This is beautiful. And I know exactly where I'm going to put this, too. Thank you, everybody who sent me things to my P.O. box. I love getting things from you guys. Whoa. <laughs> but this is I'm not new to this. This always happens to me when I paint, but I gotta do better. I need to I gotta put my scarf on. I know better at this point. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you all for getting to this point in the video and thank you all so much for watching. We just put the first coat of paint up on the ceilings, and so um uh, we'll probably finish that a little bit later off camera. But I did wanna say thank you all so much for 50,000 subscribers. At the point that I'm filming this, we're at 52,000, which is like mind blowing to me. I'm so happy that all of you have decided to subscribe and y'all come back every week on Sunday for a brand new video. And so, as I've been talking about all along, I'm doing a giveaway and here's what you have to do to enter. Okay, so to enter the giveaway, it's super duper simple and I'm going to pop all of the instructions up here on the screen. First things first, you have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel, Young Lady Business. So, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram at Young Lady Business and follow me on my TikTok. And then the third thing you have to do is comment down below in this video your Instagram handle because that is how I am going to reach out to you um, if you are one of the five winners. And I'll be giving out five. $50 Amazon gift card. That's all you have to do to enter into the giveaway. And I'm gonna pick five winners for the giveaway. And the giveaway will close Wednesday next week. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys go ahead and do that ASAP. And I'll pick the winners on Wednesday. I'm so, so excited. So you guys, the next step of my journey in this kitchen, because we're clearly not done, right? And I realized this wasn't gonna be like a one video type of thing. So this is gonna be a little series for a while. So I'm gonna pop up on the screen my checklist and the things that like I want in the order that I wanna get them done. So the first step for me was ripping out the cabinets and completely gutting the kitchen. We can check that off because we did it. The next step for me was to get the whole entire kitchen painting while the floor was still down because I just don't care about this floor at all. So that's what we're doing right now. So I guess we can kind of like half check that off. The third step or the third thing I want to do is put down all the new flooring. So I got to rip up the flooring in here. And I also need to do new plumbing, I think, over here in the sink area. So that has to get done. Once the new flooring is down, we can start painting the cabinets and sliding those babies in here. Um, uppers and lowers, all the cabinets can come in. And then I'll start installing my sink. Oh wait, no, maybe before we do the appliances, I will go ahead and put up my, no wait, <laughs> I'm getting confused. I have it all written down y'all and I'll probably just have it over here on the side so that you can see everything. But I think after we do the cabinets, we need to do the counters and then we'll do the backsplash and then we will slide in all of the appliances. I think that's the way we're gonna do it. <laughs> and then once that's done, y'all, it'll just be time for like the pretty stuff, putting on the new hardware and then decorating a little bit in the kitchen. 
um, staining the butcher block countertop. So I'm very, very excited and I hope you guys are as well for this journey. So my next couple of videos will be all about the kitchen. So make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already, like the video, comment down below your Instagram handle to be entered into the giveaway. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye guys. <laughs>